It's common in American culture to make a New Year's resolution, some sort of goal to better ourselves. Though it's equally as common to swiftly break that promise that we've made to nobody in particular. Now, while I don't like that New Year's resolutions wind up just being occasions for promise breaking, they do provide a helpful springboard for us to think about repentance as a Christian concept. I'm Rev. Ian Collier, and this is Two Minute Methodism. Resolutions and repentance usually begin in the same place. We look at ourselves and our actions, and upon reflection, find something we don't like, whether it's something that we failed to do or something that we've done that we shouldn't have. In Christianity, we believe that even recognizing the bad stuff in our life is a gift from God, because without God helping us see it, we wouldn't even be able to tell good from bad. We call this state total depravity. Now, recognizing our wrongs usually makes us feel badly or guilty. It makes us want to apologize if we've hurt someone or disrespected God. But repentance doesn't just stop at this confession. Much like a resolution, true repentance is more than just recognizing bad for bad and naming it. Repentance is when we shift our minds and our actions so that we don't do the bad again. As Methodists, who have as our goal Christian perfection, it's always important to keep in mind that repentance never ends. Since our goal is to become like God, and God is infinitely good, there is always going to be room for us to get better, even when we've stopped choosing to sin. As we become more like God, repentance will continue because we will always be able to see those places that we can grow to be even more like God, and we will turn our minds and our actions accordingly. So this year, make your resolution the resolution that all Methodists should be making, to examine yourself, to repent, and to strive to become perfect. <laughs>